When it comes to people and their religion, it's often surprising when we find out that our favorite influencers did not always hold the same beliefs as we know them to have nowadays. In this episode, we're going to be looking at 10 famous influencers who accepted Islam. Hey guys, welcome back to FTD Facts. Leroy Kenton here. And now some of these people, I know that they're going to surprise you. So stay tuned till the end of this episode so you don't miss any of these influencers coming up. The influencer at number 10 is Sheka Official. She's a former musician and she grew up agnostic and atheist. And she was someone who got married at the age of 18 years old and she stayed married to her first husband till the age of 25. Now, she didn't know any Muslims growing up and she started having great success in her music career and she performed on stage with some pretty big names. But there was one particular incident that happened at a music event and and this unfortunate incident led her to the point of wanting to end her own life. Now, it was her mother who intervened with prayer for her and told her to also pray. And it was that exact moment where her pain from her past completely left her, she says. Now she makes videos on various social media platforms with her husband named Mohammed for entertainment and educational purposes and also gives her viewers insight into their lives as a married couple. Kishama Meridian comes next. She's an Australian YouTuber and Instagrammer who posts a lot of makeup, fashion, and lifestyle content. She describes herself as being a very open person, and she's in the past explored other religions like Christianity and Judaism, but for some reason, they didn't really click for her, so she kind of stopped looking into those religions. But for some reason though, it was Islam that really spoke to her heart. Her partner, who is a Muslim, helped guide her in her fascination with Islam. And it was about six months into her in-depth study and research and watching lectures about Islam. That's when she took her Shahada, which is a profession of faith, because she believed that Islam answered all of her questions like what would happen when you die. And for her, the answers that Islam provided was satisfactory for her. Next up at number eight, we have Rosie Gabrielle. She's a Canadian solo traveler and she spent many of her years exploring Pakistan and that's where she really ended up converting to Islam. Rosie says that she quit her job and she decided to live a life following what she's passionate about and part of that passion was traveling. She gives big thanks to the people of Pakistan for helping her with the pain and the distress that she had been facing for years years to the point where she was just crying. She even made a video where she broke down in tears on camera. But now she says that she is completely free and at peace. Next up, let's look at Jay Palfrey. Jay Palfrey, who is he? Well, he's a British vlogger whose channel is growing pretty fast, actually. At the time of recording this video, he is just over 900,000 subscribers, well on his way to a million subscribers. And his videos, as you can imagine, have reached millions of people across the world. He started his YouTube channel back in January of 2017, and he started uploading videos in April of 2019. So it took him a little while to really get on the YouTube bandwagon, but he started uploading travel vlogs and reaction videos too, and he traveled to Istanbul, Turkey, India, Romania, and various other countries. And when he converted, he uploaded a video where he took his Shahada, the profession of faith in Islam, in Turkey on August 16th, 2020. Number six brings us to Aisha Rosalie. Now she is a British YouTuber as well and she became very popular after she converted to Islam. She got a job when she was completing her higher studies in London, England and then after that she decided to move to LA in the United States and that's when she really began to train herself to become a professional actor. But that was Pretty short-lived and one day she decided that, you know, she just wants to go visit some other countries, get away from America for a bit. And Turkey was the first country on her list. So when she went to Istanbul, Turkey, that's where her interest in Islam really began. 
Now, Musti Menk was the first scholar that she started to listen to as a non-Muslim, and she credits his talks and lectures to be the thing that actually made a big difference for her when it came to converting to Islam. All right, guys, so we looked at five influencers. We have five more to look at, but before we get into the last five, just wanna let you know about our episode on 10 celebrities who left showbiz for religion. I'll link to that video down below. You get to learn some other big names, other famous people who had an aha moment in their lives and in their careers, and they completely left showbiz to pursue a higher calling. Again, the link is below in the video description section where you can check that video out after this one, of course. Either way, let's continue. Number five. In at this spot is Aslima. Eileen Lahi, who goes by the username Aslima, she is an Instagram star and a YouTuber from the country of Estonia. I don't know too many people from Estonia, as a matter of fact. I don't think I can recall one off the top of my head right now. Either way, she usually posts selfies and travel photos and pictures of her family while donning modest clothing. And now you'll also find travel vlogs on her YouTube channel and videos where she shares her faith. Her journey to Islam started at the age of 14 years old, but she was not raised in any particular religion though. Young's World comes in at number four. Now, he was a strict Christian growing up in a very strict Christian household. Like his entire family was heavily involved in the church. He's from South Korea and he launched his YouTube channel in 2019. And you'll find some pretty funny reaction videos and skits. But you see, due to some crimes that were actually committed in several churches when he used to attend, and also the fact that he noticed so many Christians were not practicing their faith at all, well, that really turned him off from religion in general, and he got to the point where he just didn't want to follow any religion. But after he began YouTube and began to seek God on his own, he was actually urged by his fans to explore and embrace Islam. And when he became Muslim, he didn't even want to tell his friends and family, but now he's a lot more public with his faith. Mr. Watwa comes in at number three. Three, Abdullahi Uni, also known as Mr. Watwa on social media. He has a fast growing YouTube channel and he actually converted to Islam after two years of doing research and studying. Originally, he was from the country of Nigeria and he comes from a Catholic background. And the majority of his videos you'll find are vlogs and reaction videos. As a matter of fact, he's even reacted to some of our videos on FTD Facts in the past. Like take for instance, our facts about Hinduism video where he did a reaction to. This group of texts are known as Vedas. Vedas are also called Surti. Unlike other religious texts, the more and more he viewed content on religion, especially on Islam, well, his beliefs and views started to shift as he questioned his Catholic beliefs. Fans were really happy when he announced on YouTube that he took his Shahada and officially became a Muslim. And now this guy has such a great personality. He's always in a good mood. And honestly, I would have to say that watching his videos leaves me in a good mood and I'm sure it'll do the same for you as well. The influencer at number two is Dawood Kim. Dawood Kim, he's a famous Korean YouTuber and his name is J. David Kim, also known as Dawood Kim. He declared that he converted to Islam and he actually grew up Christian, but after spending quite a bit of time looking into and examining Islam for himself, he decided that it was the religion that he wanted to choose to practice. Now, after becoming Muslim, he changed his name to Dawood Kim, and Dawood is the Arabic pronunciation of the name David. When it comes to converting to Islam, he says this in his own words, and I quote, I'm so happy. Actually, I'm so happy. There are some hardships and difficulties in Korea as a Muslim, but instead of that, I am so happy because so many Muslims in Korea said congratulations. And finally, we end off this episode with number one. This one was the most surprising for me, Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa, he is a very popular Muslim YouTuber. He's a content creator from Turkey whose videos help spread the message of Islam as well as inspire young people. Ali Dawa comes from a Shia and agnostic household and they never really practice their religious beliefs or anything. And surprisingly, in his teenage years, he was involved with gangs. 
And it wasn't until he moved in with his dad and started hanging out with a new group of friends that his life started to turn around. Ali is a student of comparative religion and because of that, he has a whole catalog of videos that aim to raise awareness on topics related to religion and how you can compare them and come to your own conclusions. He's a staunch promoter of Islam and his videos really, really, really embody the passion that he has for people wanting to know about the religion of Islam.